Hello friends, this video on thermal properties of matter part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 21 before going ahead with part 22. Hello friends, this video on thermal properties of matter part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 22 before going ahead with part 23. Now let us look at the third mode of transfer of heat that is radiation. So what is radiation? It is transfer of heat between bodies separated by a distance in vacuum. As I told you in the previous in few slides before that you want to transfer the ball to your friend you just throw the ball you just don't need any mediator between you and your friend so it is something like that here the transfer of heat takes place between bodies which are separated by a certain distance in vacuum it doesn't need a medium at all so no medium is required Energy radiated by electromagnetic waves is termed as radiant energy. So in this case, electromagnetic waves play an important role because in this case, in vacuum, the heat transfer takes place through the EM waves, right? the electromagnetic waves. As electromagnetic waves can travel in vacuum, they do not need air to be present. So the energy radiated by electromagnetic waves is known as radiant energy. So these two names are related that is radiation and radiant energy. Heat transfer in this mode is very fast. So amongst the three modes conduction, convection and radiation this is the fastest mode of heat transfer. Example the most common example that is the heat transfer from the sun to the earth. How do we get, get heat from the sun during daytime? There is no medium which carries the heat to the earth. The transfer of heat takes place through electromagnetic waves in vacuum and the transfer is very fast. That is, I mean, needless to say, you yourself know how fast the transfer is. So this is the fastest mode of transfer. Just think about it. Why is it that the heat transfer by radiation does not need any medium? And why is it so fast? As I told you, in radiation, the heat transfer takes place through the electromagnetic waves. Right? So this is the first one. The heat transfer takes place through electromagnetic waves or EM waves. Right? Now in electromagnetic waves, the electric field and the magnetic fields, they oscillate in space and time. So like any other wave, electromagnetic waves can have different wavelengths and can travel in vacuum with the same speed as that of light. So this electromagnetic waves, so EM waves can travel in vacuum and also EM waves can travel with the speed of light. So speed of light is very fast, right? So because of which, since this heat transfer takes place through electromagnetic waves, which can travel in vacuum, therefore radiation does not need any medium. Also, it is so fast because electromagnetic waves can travel with the speed of light. Now that we know what is radiation, let me introduce a small modification to the term that is thermal radiation that is radiation by virtue of heat thermal the term thermal comes into picture means something related to heat so electromagnetic radiation emitted by a body by virtue of its temperature so it talks about electromagnetic radiation that is the radiation which is transferred via electromagnetic waves so electromagnetic radiation which is emitted by a body by virtue of its temperature is called thermal radiation. For example, a red hot iron. A red hot iron has a very high temperature. 
so because of that temperature it emits radiation so that electromagnetic radiation is known as thermal radiation this thermal radiation falling on any body is partly reflected and partly absorbed so thermal radiation whenever it falls on any object that will be partially absorbed and partially it will be reflected we will see many application of this particular fact that is the partly absorption and partly reflection of thermal radiation thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again